Hi, greetings and welcome back to the part 6 of the Amplifier project. This video is going to be one short video. As I said in my previous video, oh wait, you haven't watched the previous video. So please do watch the previous video or the part 5 of it to understand better about these high pass filters or else you'll feel lost in the video. So yeah, as I was saying, as I said in the end of the previous video that I'll be making one update video after completing the Twitter section. So here is the completed Twitter section. So in this video, we'll talk about this Twitter section and also we'll test the sound of this. So without wasting any further more time, let us get started. So I'll be using these speakers instead of the Pioneer Twitters for this video. These are of 2 inch diameter and 4 ohms, 20 watts, full range speakers. You can tell by the compliance of this. It will also produce good bass sounds. And we'll find the number of the person from where I purchased this as always in the description. So this is the completed Twitter section. Two pre-amplifiers or high pass filters. Two power amplifiers connected to this heatsink. This heatsink will be sufficient for my use. And I've connected both the chip amps in this heatsink with insulators. Obviously don't want the third pin to be connected. Use this 5mm thick acrylic sheet to hold all of the boards together and one important note all the wires should be twisted the power wires or the supply wires and also the input and output wires everything should be twisted wires so let us now make all the connections So everything is connected now and everything is fine. No magic smoke or anything. Nice. So I'll try to play something unique today. I hope I won't get any copy copyright strike or anything. It says NCS, but let's see. And please do use headphones. The reason why everyone says this is because headphones will normally have a very flat response throughout the audio range, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. If you haven't tweaked any settings in the in your phone, so please take out your headphones, wear it and listen to the music. Okay, I know again my mic will be clipping at the highest frequencies when it's maxing out. But in real life, the sound is amazing. The, the filtering that is happening in the preamps, it's really very clear. And the sound is, the sound quality of this is really great. I'm very happy with the outcome of the circuits. Now let me go back to some proper NCS, which everyone plays.
so that's it i hope that you are able to understand the quality of the sound at least to some extent and this will be the end of the twitter section it's not the heat sink is not really hot it's just warm uh anyway so yeah the twitter section is done now so if you remember again my first video and the idea that i told about my project only thing remaining will be the woofer section now the woofer preamp i'm pretty much sure that what i'll be using and woofer power amp i'll be probably using the lm3886 ic's and i'll be designing the circuit soon but the next video the next topic will be the comments and the doubts that i have received recently so i'll make one video the next video will be mostly about the doubts i'll make one low pass filter the low pass filter will be a single supply and also a dual supply like we can change some minor things in the circuit and we can make it a single supply or a dual supply with that and probably i'll be trying to make it 36 db per octave minus 36 db per octave with that please let me know in the comments how the how you feel the quality of the sound is for this tweeter section and i'll see you in the next video till then stay tuned and please please do subscribe like and share that will really help my channel to grow and reach out to more and more people so that's it for today bye bye